Hi, I am Dr. Sheila John and I am going to talk to you on an interesting topic, CAD in garment designing. The fashion industry has travelled a long way and has bloomed into one of the largest manufacturing industries in the world. Indian industry offers a wide variety of interesting woven, printed, embroidered, textiles and garments. As the industry grew, the use of technology in this field has increased to a greater extent. As we all know, in the field of fashion, the only constant is change. And to have a competitive edge in the business, the application of CAD in the production process is essential. Hence, a study on the CAD in the field of garment becomes vital. At the end of this lesson, you will gain knowledge on the advantages of CAD in designing. You will gain knowledge in creating garment designs in two-dimensional form. Understand the need and significance of 3D designs. Gain knowledge on creating garment designs in the three-dimensional form. Fashion illustrations through computers started in the 90s. It was very costly then but now has become more affordable. The computer technology has made it possible for illustrators and fashion designers to experiment with their new ideas. The current areas of application of computers in the textile industry include weaving, knitting, printing, fashion illustration, texture mapping, embroidery, pattern making, pattern grading, marker planning, cutting and so on. Now, I will brief you on the significance of CAD in designing. The computer aided designing increases the productivity of the designer, improves the quality of the design and also serves as a database for manufacturing. In general terms, CAD refers to the creation of designs with the help of computer and in computer the designs are represented as a graphical model. Thanks to the CAD, garment designers are creating designs faster and with great accuracy. Designing of garments using CAD also has lot of advantages. In CAD, we have a wide variety of pens available to the artist in different sizes and shapes. This enables the artist to draw lines in different shapes and sizes. The shapes of the lines can be easily modified without erasing them. The cat also offers a wide range of colors, maybe a million shades. The artists also have the freedom to choose from color wheels like RGB and CMYK. The range of brushes and sizes is also a boon to the designer. If drawn by hand, it is very difficult to create a spray painting effect which can be easily created in the computer easily with a spray painting brush. The CAD provides the designer with a variety of images and fabric designs that will take days for the designer to draw it manually. Fabric swatches sometimes maybe upcoming in the fashion market newly can be scanned or photographed and stored in the image library. This texture or design can be visualized on the garment by draping it over the sketch in just a few seconds. Editing tools. This is another advantage to a designer. The copy and paste objects helps in recreating the designs in part or full. Motifs can be repeated as many times as desired. Size of the motifs can also be controlled by scaling techniques, mirroring the image, erasing or deleting part of the designs is also made easier. The designs undergo changes many times but still the design sheets look very clean. The erasing tool and delete tool does the work without soiling the paper. The crop tool 
helps in taking away a part of the design very neatly and easily. As far as the storage of the design is concerned, the garment designing can be stored in the computer memory and a copy of it can be stored in the CD or pen drive and the same can be retrieved anytime, anywhere. The paper which is drawn manually may get spoiled after a period of time. But in computer, the designs can be stored for an unlimited period of time without damage. The designer can work halfway through the design and store it in the system and continue to work whenever he feels comfortable. And then the zoom tool and the pan tool helps the design parts to be zoomed and then worked on the details very closely and the editing can be made easily. For drawing designs manually, the physical line arrangement is very important. The designer usually requires a larger space, a place to keep the easel board and a stand for keeping different types of pens, pencils, colors and palettes. With the CAD, the artist just needs only a computer to draw and paint the fashion sketches. The designs can be stored in the email and can be retrieved in any part of the world. The burden of carrying the paper and maintaining the design is thus eliminated. The designer can send the designs to foreign buyers for approval with just a touch of the button. Thus it is clear that the CAD design not only enhances the creativity of the designer but also helps in creating the designs faster and neat. Next, we are going to learn about the different methods of creating 2D garment designs. When I say two-dimensional garment designing, it is similar to drawing an illustration on the paper. It is drawn and viewed in two axes, namely x-axis and y-axis. Now we shall see the different ways in which the designs can be created in the computer. Number one, it can be created using photographs. It can be created using the tablet and stylus. Can also be created using general purpose CAD software and it can be created using fashion designing softwares. First we will see the garment designing in photographs. Nowadays the availability of photographs is in digital formats and it is very common for everyone to have a digital camera. The hard copy of the photographs can be digitized by scanning the photographs into the computer if we do not have a soft copy. The photographic images can be edited for colors and prints using suitable CAD software. The images can be placed in one layer and the outline can be redrawn for major changes. This is very ideal for personalization of dress designs. If a new garment design has to be viewed on a model or an individual, this is a very easy way. This is also termed as style testing. That is, it means pre-testing with the consumers. A fashion scout can see a new design in a foreign country and transmit the color photo to incorporate it in the headquarters in India, where prototypes of design can be developed using CAD. These designs are thus submitted to the consumer for testing and the results can be tabulated within 24 hours. Now, let's talk about the second method, garment designing using tablet and stylus. The skill of the artist is very unique and there is no replacement for it. In this method, a tablet acts as a digitizer to the computer which converts the hand-drawn images into a digital format. The tablet serves as an input and the drawing is made on the tablet surface 
using a stylus which serves as a pen. As the garment design is drawn on the tablet, the image is displayed in the monitor. The, then we will now move on to the third method, CAD designing using the general purpose software. General purpose software refer to the software commonly used like Coral Draw, Paintbrush, Adobe Photoshop where a variety of designs can be created from fashion model to a toy, scientific model of an atomic structure or parts of a plant and animal. Here the fashion designer designs a variety of drawing tools fill tools, editing tools and so on. In this type of software, first a croquis or a human model is created followed by the garment designing. The same croquis can be used for creating a variety of garment styles, hairstyles and accessories and other postures can be done by modifying the same croquis to suit new garment designs. The garment design can be placed in different simulated backgrounds. The fourth method is garment designing using fashion design software. In today's fashion arena, increasing number of fashion designing software is available for the designer to create garment illustrations. The fashion software has a library of different types of models for different ages, varied sizes and shapes. Hence, the time needed to create a base figure is completely eliminated and more time and energy can be spent on the garment designs alone. The software is customized with different fabric structures and the colors of the fabric swatches can be changed in part or full as and when it is worked. This software also aid in final presentation of the garment in a very attractive manner. After a brief learning of the 2D garment designing, we shall now study the need for the 3D garment designing garment designs for the 3D human figure are usually presented as sketches or photographs which is two dimensional. In this it becomes hard to imagine the two dimensional sketches in other angles say for example a side view and a back view or any other angle. The fashion designings are more convincing if the model and the garments are portrayed with a certain three dimensional effect. 3D computer visualization is an efficient and effective way to communicate design ideas. 3D designing is the need of the art because clothing is three dimensional. The catalogs and the designs which are now available in the photographic form is two-dimensional but if it is a 3d catalog it will be of great interest to the consumer and it becomes more advantageous when the consumer shops through the internet and before a dress is stitched the tailor cannot know for sure what the dress will look like and what the effect will be when it is worn on a human body and if it is a new fashion designer, the tailor can only imagine the results depending on his experience and talent. With 3D designs, there is no need to physically produce a product. The styles can be presented to the consumer and tested for their acceptance or rejection with 3D designs. And without the actual garment sample and as we all know fashion show involves a lot of time manpower and money it is essential 
because it is the ideal and widely accepted popular way of presenting a designer collection on a human model. The 3D images can present the designer collection as a virtual fashion show at a minimal cost and in this age of information technology it is essential to have a database of garment designs in the 3D image. We have a lot of traditional garments like sari, lehenga, salwar kameez etc which are a treasure to our heritage. It is necessary to store them in the 3D form for the future generation to view our rich culture and heritage. I am sure you are convinced with the need of garment designing in the 3D form and now we will learn about the process of 3D garment designing. The 3D designing software can also be grouped into two types, one is general purpose software and the other one is customized fashion designing software. The general purpose software includes 3D Studio Max, Cinema 4D, Poser and so on. Some of the fashion designing software include V-Stitcher, Optitex, Modaris 3D, Asus Bulmer and so on. Three dimensional garment designing is a process of designing a garment in three dimensions that is x axis, y axis and z axis. Three dimensional viewing of objects require specification of a projection plane, center of projection or the direction of projection and a view volume in world coordinates. Creating human figure in itself is a research. Hence, it can be downloaded from an available internet source. But if it is a fashion designing software, the models are readily available in the library which can be used or modified for a variety of body shapes, hair color, shoulder slope and postures. Designs are created by drawing the outline of the garment directly on a 3D model. Here the model acts as a mannequin or a human body and the garment designing is similar to the process of draping where the material is placed over the body form to create different styles of fabric. Once a 3D object is created, textures and colors are applied to it to make it seem more realistic. It can be rough or coarse or smooth or shiny. This process is termed as shading or texturing. It is a method of applying surface properties to the garments and body form. Texture applications make the garment and the model look real and interesting. The texture is applied with material maps available in the material library. After the material is wrapped around the surface of an object, it can be stretched or shrunk to suit or follow the shape of the object. Rendering is a process which produces the final output file. Here the file type, frame size and the number of frames are specified. Rendering is a technique that facilitates users to get a preview of how the objects can appear in the final 3D form after the users have modified them, animated them and applied the desired shading and textures and lightening. During rendering, a circular path was set for the camera to move. The render setting was set for a definite number of frames. Brightness and contrast level were adjusted to give more clarity to the scene. The fashion figure is placed in the stage setting and the animation is made. When I say animation, it refers to the movement of the object 
and the scene in different angles. This enables the viewer also to get a full view of the garment at all possible angles. The most difficult part is the simulation of the fabric. It takes a lot of geometry calculations to give a beautiful fall to the fabric. The beauty of a garment lies in the graceful movement of the fabric while the human walks and this is the predominant area of research in the recent years. The highlight of the latest fashion designing software is its ability to prepare a 2D pattern which will be converted into a 3D garment virtually draped over a human figure. Another notable significant feature is that the fit of the garment can also be checked. The tightness if any in the fabric will be shown as a red redness displayed in the particular garment parts and the garment if it is loose will fall off. Now I am going to present you the step by step process of designing a salwar kameez in 3D form. Salwar kameez is made up of three pieces salwar, kameez and dupatta. In the process I am going to teach you the kameez is designed first followed by the salwar and the accessories. The women model and the hair are frozen first while designing the garment. This will ensure that the model will not be altered throughout the designing process. The objects in the 3D forms can be created using polygons, primitives and mesh objects. Here we are going to create it using a polygon. A polygon is created by placing it over the body on the right side of the women figure at the center front line. The polygon is then converted into an editable polygon. This editable polygon is modified by selecting one edge at a time. It is then extended to the desired angle and length. The vertex of the polygon is selected and modified to suit the shape of the body. But care has to be taken to see that the polygon is draped evenly over the chest and waist. When the front half is completed, the same procedure is followed at the back. The sleeve for the right hand is also prepared in a similar fashion. The front, back and sleeve are selected and is mirrored after cloning the same. This same sequence is followed for the salwar also. While working on the salwar, we should always remember that to see that the kameez is hidden. It will make the process of creating the salwar easier. After the completion of salwar, the kameez is unhidden and the model is unfrozen. The tupatta also is created by modifying a polygon. A pair of bangles and a slip-on shoe is also created to give a complete look to the salwar kameez. The salwar, kameez and tupatta are now modified into a mesh smooth where the polygon and the edges are smoothened. Smoothening creates an illusion of roundness by assigning smoothing groups at the face and element or object level. The salwar, kameez and tupatta will be subjected to UVW mapping later. This ensures that the texture mapping is more nice. The salwar, kameez and tupatta is texturized and rendered. This is a very simple method of creating a salwar, kameez, tupatta along with the bangle and slip on shoes in the 3D form. We have come to the end of the lesson. It is evident that 
the computers today are playing an important role in garment designing and the garment designs in CAD are becoming more interesting and clear by displaying the garment features and prints. In this fast moving world where everything is instant, the computer technology comes handy for a businessman or a customer or even a student like you. For a fashion designer like you, CAD assists and enables you to create more varieties and present the design collection to a clientele or even to make an interesting portfolio collection which can be submitted to your teacher while you are studying or why not you can show it to your family and friends and excite them. As an aspiring designer you should be definitely aware of the latest developments in the field of CAD. Make the maximum use of this technology and make the world colorful through your innovative and interesting garment designs.